Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel Aviation World. In this video, we will talk about A330 cargo aircraft main big cargo compartment fire suppression system. A330 cargo aircraft available in two different shapes. Either A330-200F, which originally manufactured by Airbus as cargo aircraft starting from January 2010, or available as A330 passenger to freight B2F converted aircraft through EFW company based in Dresden, Germany, starting from December 2017. In S330 cargo aircraft, upper fuselage include cockpit, career area, and the main deck cargo compartment. Lower fuselage includes avionics compartment and lower deck forward and aft cargo compartments. Lower fuselage in A330 cargo aircraft is same as in A330 passenger aircraft. The cockpit or the flight deck is the area where the pilot set to fly an airplane. It includes seats for captain, first officer, third occupant, and fourth occupant. The career area is in the forward entrance area and contains lavatory, galley, and seats for the company staff. The career area may include an optional flight crew rest compartment for pilots rest in long flights. The main deck cargo compartment used for loading containers and ballots also may include the optional cargo loading system for rapid loading and unloading. Cargo or freighter aircraft main deck cargo compartment classified as class E compartment. Class E cargo compartment requirement. According to civil aviation regulation, the compartment need to be equipped with smoke detection system, ventilation control system, flight crew procedure for fire suppression, no active firefighting system, smoke barrier between main deck cargo compartment and career area. For S330 Class E main deck cargo compartment fire protection system, we will cover the following points. Main deck cargo compartment smoke detection system, main deck cargo compartment smoke barrier, main deck cargo compartment fire suppression system, main deck cargo compartment smoke and crew oxygen requirements. If you like the, the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. First point, main deck cargo compartment smoke detection system. The smoke detectors of the main deck cargo compartment are installed in bears in the main deck cargo compartment ceiling. S330-200F equipped with a dual loop smoke detection system, which include 15 pairs of smoke detectors. The smoke detectors are connected to the smoke detection function of the seeds director. When the seeds smoke detection function confirm a smoke detection in the main deck cargo compartment, it launches warning in the cockpit, career area, and the main deck cargo compartment. Here is the S330-200F main deck cargo compartment smoke indication and the control panel located in the cockpit overhead panel right hand side. S330-200 B2F equipped with a dual loop smoke detection system which includes 15 pairs of smoke detectors. The smoke detectors are connected to the main deck cargo smoke control panel in the cockpit overhead panel the, small, the system is standalone system with no interface to the existing smoke detection control unit or seeds computers. S330-300 B2F, same as S330-200 B2F, but the main deck cargo compartment equipped with 17 of smoke detectors 
instead 17 pairs of smoke detectors instead of 15 pairs because the S330-300 fuselage is longer than S330-200 fuselage. Here is the main deck cargo smoke control panel for both S330-200 B2F and S330-300 B2F located in the cockpit overhead panel right hand side. Main deck cargo compartment smoke indication. First, cockpit indication. The related smoke warning light illuminate, the master warning red light flash, the continuous repetitive chime CRC to sound, the red warning message on the upper ECAM display. Second, indication in the career area. No smoking and fasten seat belt signs illuminate. Third, indications in the main deck cargo compartment. The leave compartment signs illuminate. Smoke chime ring, which is a sequence of continuous single tone high beat sheet chime. The S330-200 B2F main deck cargo compartment equipped with 10 lighted signs leave compartments and 14 load speakers for oral warning. In case of smoke in the main deck cargo compartment, the leave compartment signs illuminate and the smoke chime rings. Second point, main deck cargo compartment smoke barrier. The smoke barrier protects occupied area like cockpit and career area against hazardous quantity of fumes and smoke from the main deck cargo compartment. S330-200F equipped with a rigid wall barrier with two access doors. The rigid wall barrier work as smoke barrier in case of main deck cargo compartment fire. S330 B2F equipped with 9G barrier net from career area site and smoke curtain from main deck cargo compartment site. The smoke curtain has two access doors. The smoke curtain work as smoke barrier in case of main deck cargo compartment fire. Third point, main deck cargo compartment fire suppression system. When the main deck cargo compartment smoke detected, the system automatically isolate the airflow to the cargo compartment through closing the main deck shut off valves, opening the main deck bypass valve, closing the galley and toilet extraction fan, closing the cabin recirculation fan, shutting off back one and the back two automatically go to high flow, closing the lower deck forward, lower deck aft and the bulk cargo compartment isolation valves. Main deck cargo compartment fire suppression system. In addition to main deck cargo compartment airflow isolation, which carried out automatically after smoke detection, no active fire extinguishing system are installed in the main deck cargo compartment. The firefighting procedure is based on the depressurization of the main deck by increasing manually the cabin altitude up to 20,000 feet while simultaneously reducing cruising flight altitude to 20,000 feet. The procedure reduces the oxygen concentration in the air and consequently suppresses the fire. Final point, main deck cargo compartment, smoke and the crew oxygen requirement. The freighter oxygen system give hypoxia protection to the cockpit crew and the career area occupant after cabin decompression for 15 minutes and during the cargo smoke evacuation procedure for up to 180 minutes, it tops diversion time. 
the flight crew, the flight compartment equipped with four oxygen masks as shown because the flight crew member vary from two to four per pilots according to flight duration. Career area occupants number vary from four up to six occupant. In case of main deck cargo compartment smoke detection, career area oxygen system activated and the masks drop automatically to supply the occupants with oxygen up to reaching aircraft altitude 10,000 feet before landing. Thank you for watching. See you next, see you next video with all the best.